Hi guys, Shutuntu Show with me now. Welcome to the tribe. When I say the tribe, I mean the Mutirelo tribe. And how was I supposed to know that? If you guys have not subscribed yet, please subscribe because, yo, that's the only way you know when the content is coming out. And, you know, because, hey, these days I don't do that thing of putting dates. I just put content when I want. If I'm not enough, that's your problem, but you're not going to stop me. We are talking after we fell. I can't tell what's true and what's not. After we fell is a sequel because it comes from after we collide. After we collide came out in 2020. That was the only film that I know that made good box office sense in 2020. Stop. Because most films were hiding behind the background and saying, yeah, we'll do it next year. After we collide was a good film because it was all about consent. Because most films from back in the days up until now, when it comes to love making, there was never consent. It was just go, not knowing what the lady wants, not knowing what's going on, never saying this is what is gonna happen just now. Trust me, let's do it. And then the lady has to accept it. Where has that ever gotten me? Teach kids about that, condomizing, sex, consent, and also dealing with your own issues because people take their issues into the relationships and not communicate about those issues. This second one is amazing because we dive into the character's families. Because the first one it was all about the kids. You're never gonna trust me. Now we move and show that there's family, there's older people in it. And we show complications in those relationships. And that supports how those two characters of those kids were behaving in love in the first place. I won't give up Seattle for you, so you just turn on me. Obviously, we know that the main character, uh, what's his name? Winnie. I don't remember. I'll put the name here because I forget people's names. The main character, the guy, had a drinking problem in the first one and he has changed from that because the lady comforts him and she makes him whole, she makes him complete. So because he does not have to feel a void of not having a father and all that, in this story, now he doesn't drink. He tries to drink because he's fighting with the lady, but he gets away from that. You don't get to choose who I have as friends. They don't want to be your friends, okay? It's like 50 shades light. Fifty Shades was too much. If you didn't like Fifty Shades because of the cringy sex and all those other things, this would be nice for you because it's like the chill vibe of uh, Fifty Shades. But if you are that guy who likes the fighting, the beating of people when it comes to sexual desires, this might not be your thing because it's all about consent, it's all about um, love making. We are all fools in love. In the big screen, it makes the love making scenes more effective. There's this upbeat music that keeps you entertained when making love and you feel like you are part of the scene because it's as if you're also having this fun. I don't know what that fun is but it, it felt amazing. Go enjoy it, go have fun and watch it at the cinema. Go to Steak Anymore because the sound is amazing. I love good sound with an amazing picture. So I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yes what? Well.